Hello, hello, and welcome to the final part of the Halloween event treat stream edition. Oh, this is one that I've had planned for quite a while. Should be a lot of fun. <laughs> We're going to be getting into Minecraft and using armor trims to create costumes. Uh, first, I'm going to have to show off what I have in mind, what I what I mean by this. Uh, name three. Ooh, new recipes unlocked. Yep, that's we'll get to that. The main reason. I wanted to make an armory was so that I could make some cool costumes. Um, and I have armored stands here showing off the armor trims for every every armor trim I have access to. Although, hang on. Mix silences among them or ward. Okay, hang on. It's iron with netherite trim. I got combat maybe? No. Tools and utilities. No. Ingredients? Yeah, there it is, ingredients at the bottom. Uh this is new, too. Uh, field Mason and Bordure indented banner patterns have been made into um, into the pattern system. Uh, flower Charge already was one, and then there were obviously some of the more rare resources, such as Creeper Charge, Skull Charge, a uh, thing. And then there were the ones that you had to get under particular circumstances, such as through loot, such as Globe, Snout, Augusta and Flow. Uh, we've got those. But, let's see. Do, 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 do. This one's Silence. Which one's. That's Bolted Flow. One's... That one's Ward. Okay. So, Silence would be this one. Yeah. Yeah. In alphabetical order. Not bad. I did not take into account that I have this. It's my mistake. Okay, that actually looks pretty sick. Oh, if I had access to netherite, I know exactly what I would do here. But I already came up with something. Uh, you'll see what I mean in a bit. Alright, so, yeah, that's pretty snazzy. I like that. Oh, I'm going to have to use that for something, but, yep. The other one being Ward would go for Wayfinder, so that's, you got to be this one. That's why the, yeah, Sculpt. Okay. Okay. Man, I wish I had taken these into account, but I simply don't have uh, the netherite to spare for that chess piece there. 
Because that would work perfectly for one of the costumes that I wanted to make. Maybe in the future I can update it, but, um... That's pretty sick. I'll have to use this for something, too. As for what that would be, I do not know. I very much like that helmet. It's like bangles. So a gold bangle around the outside. Shaper kind of looks like that. It looks nice and all, but... This one actually looks like there's a gold necklace or something draped around the outside. I like I like the ones that loop around like that. Hmm. It's very wavy. I'll, I'll I'll have to keep that in mind. Hmm. I also have uh, bolt and flow set up here and. Uh, even though for some reason they don't work with the show arms, no arms. Oh, I fixed that, did I? Oh, that's odd. The no arms button works, the show arms button doesn't. What's the difference? doesn't work on it. It worked on the ones all the way over here. Why didn't it work on these? I... Oh, my gosh. Armor stands are kind of beyond me. Uh, to that degree, I guess. Um, but uh, l let me get to the point of it all. I imprison a wither skeleton here so that I could get a nice look at him and make some comparisons. And then I cooked up this. Kind of looks like a wither skeleton, huh? It's really sort of a costume, but fortunately we have a head that can fit quite nicely. And um, the other parts are easy to... Uh, grab. So I used rib, vex, and razor with the uh, iron material on a very specifically dyed leather chest, uh, leather uh, suit of armor um, in order to gain the uh, desired effect. The iron looks a lot more gray on the chest plate and the boots than it does on the pants for some reason. But, like I said, I don't have the netherite to spare, otherwise I would use that. And then this was the start of my plan for the Hero of the Wild outfit, but I haven't quite finished that one just yet. Obviously, this one comes with a stone sword. This one comes with an iron sword. I have all sorts of materials here with which uh, color and shape can be experimented. I did want to compare Snout and Vex, because that's Vex, this is Snout. I'm not sure which one I like better. Uh, but for that color specifically, I actually found uh, a tool online that lets you get a, a very, very specific color. Because the uh, the dyes have to be combined in specific ways. In order to get that color, you have to put on a leather tunic, four separate blue dyes, a cyan dye, and a light blue dye. And then, after that, you have to put on three light blue dyes and a cyan dye. And that's pretty crazy. I'm not sure if I like Snout or Rex, so I stuck those in there. Uh, iron turns it gray, kind of. So I figured Quartz was the best option. Um, as for this, the, 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 the dye used to get the correct coloration was just two gray and one black. 
and it should come out as 393E41. That is probably going to be the easiest one, so we're going to do that first. Um, I have it written down in my stream to do document. What? No, nope, don't do that. I have a few things here. Recreate, Swedish, make a warp. Yeah, I have the I have the recipes laid out here. I did not write in the full thing for the breath of a wild suit, but I can I can put that in when we do that. Um it occurs to me that I'm going to have to pull up that tool. Where is it? What makes a mosaic Roman? Right. I um I was thinking about something like that. Aha, here it is. That was not in the Minecraft folder. Why wasn't it in my Minecraft bookmark folder? Oh well. I found it. Uh da -da 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 -da. it's a very effective tool. Um I'm impressed with the uh, the ease with uh, which I was able to uh, utilize it. I just put in the, the hex code and it told me what to do. Anyhow, let's see. I plan to make those two costumes. The Hero of the Wild and a Wither Skeleton. And then, hopefully, take suggestions from the audience. Um... If no suggestions come around, then, uh, well, then I might have a look at what, uh, what other trims I've unlocked and see if they inspire me in any way. Anyhow, let's, uh, get into the survival world. As you can see, I have decorated. <laughs> Candles everywhere. Cobwebs and skulls. Um, my lighting is okay. Close to spookifying. Uh, my lighting is okay. Uh, I'm second guessing the choice to uh, replace a bunch of stuff with the lanterns, but no, honestly, it's fine. Uh, another thing of note. Oh, I made a couple of banners. Uh, this one is a zombie in a uh, coffin, I guess. It's uh, maybe not the most obvious. I, 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 I liked it. So I'm gonna bust him out whenever I. Where, where did I put the other one? I cannot remember. Hmm. We have. Turtles now. Unfortunately, uh, I was busy elsewhere and missed when they grew up, so I, I didn't get the skewed. But here's king and queen. Uh, the best of both things. I um, did not get the skewed, but thanks to the two of them, we will be able to get more turtle eggs. So that's a resource that we can look into now. I could have sworn, but I put the other... Ah, there it is. Skeleton in the dark. That was a tricky one. Um, I did need to go and get a 
Wither Skeleton Skull. But I needed another one of those. Anyhow. Uh, light Gray Skull Charge. I used the Globe, and I used Guster for it, too. Uh, you can maybe see where I did that. But I, I like the results. There's also Soul Lanterns in there. But, um, there is one other pet that we need to say hi to. And that's this guy. Spinach. Named so because of the strength effect. But yeah, if we pop over here... Give a few spare armor stands. If we pop over here... Uh, this is where the costumes are going to go. Right there. I... Still haven't done anything out here to make it more suitable for... For um, a sort of a set of shops, but... If there's... The blacksmithing forge right here... And then that leads into the armory... I, 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 I have a feeling that that's going to look fantastic. Um, oh. But we'll get to that shortly. One thing of note. I went and collected some leather armor from the villagers. And I did a little bit of mining as well for diamonds. So there should be plenty of diamonds for making additional armor trims. I've still got to uh, process them, but I have a bunch. So it should be good. Um, very excited to see how everything turns out. One other thing of note, though, is... I can't really get in that one, can I? I've got the finishing touch. For the uh, Wither Skeleton costume. I should take these with me. And I'll get to show that off later. It's actually hidden in a secret compartment in the base. Um... I had a lot of fun with that when I made it initially, and now I'll finally show it off. But uh, first things first, and that's getting the leather armor, and that means grabbing a lot of emeralds. I think... Yeah, I'm, in the end, I'm only going to need four sets, because I'm only going to make four costumes. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I would need from over here, so as to save me the trip. I have all of the resources I should need. That should be good. I might need die. That's the big thing. Die. You know what? I... I think I can trade for Lapis? Yeah, there we go. I'll grab this and that, and... You know what? I'll take more emeralds with me in case I need to use those for the trim. Yeah. Speaking of trim, there was an exciting development in regards to news for the next drop. Aha! Here we go. Let's 
get to experimenting. Is there any more string? No more string? That's it for the string. Alright, I guess we're only making two. Uh, but... Resin aside, there has been another drop before. Oh, I put a bundle in a bundle. Um, let's see. If I stick... I can craft all of these together. If I stick all of that material in one of these bundles, what color would I want to make it? It's for resources. Let's just make it black. I have been looking forward so long to playing around with bundles. Okay. Okay. Left click on it. Okay. Um. Okay, and now. Right click? No. Hang on. There was a way to select it. Aha! Scroll wheel. Okay, what about. No, that, that puts it into the hot bar. Okay, scroll wheel. I can just. And then. Okay, no. Scroll wheel, right click. Roll wheel, right click. Okay, so left click puts it in, right click takes it out. Cool. Okay, so if I did this, no, right click takes it out, put it in. No, hang on, okay. Um. Take out the lapis, put it in. Take out the... Redstone, put it in. There we go. Now it's... It's not really lined up now, is it? Well, is there another resource here? Let me make that look even. Not really. Not of the sort I need at any rate. I assume if you have something like this, and it'll, you put it in, it'll stack. There we go. And it just stacked intuitively. No, it did not. It moved it to the top. Interesting. Okay. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, but if I take this, for example, and... A single spyglass is enough to fill it. But if I took that and combined all of the wood into it. Or, no, heck, hang on. No, better idea. Better idea for this one. Let's make that one brown. Let's take the wood out. Eventually, I'll put... Now, if that's a utility one, I would want the, I would want the wood one to be brown, and then... Okay, that can be the... Yeah, okay, this will be the utility one. It'll be black. This will be the wood one. But I can put the crafting table and the ender chest and half a stack of bottles of enchanting and some more food or some ender pearls in there and holy cow my inventory has just expanded so much all of a sudden okay right now i'm going to oh, you can also right click to put hang on. okay it's logs blanks sticks sticks blanks logs okay so the most recent one all right cool cool this is going to take some getting used to, but it's going to be so valuable for inventory management. Okay. Right click. You can't right click and drag. Or left click and drag. It seems like. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, 
Yep, no, that's fine. And then utilities. And it can go up to three rows. So I'll just take that. Half a stack of food. A handful of bottles of enchanting. And then it could hold 14 more items. So let's say... What, what, else, what else would I want to put in there? I've, I, I, I feel like I've never had this option open to me before. What other stuff would I want to carry around with me? Furnaces, maybe? And coal, so I can smelt something if I need to on the spot? Take the food out, and I'll use the slot that I freed up. The two slots here that I would usually have that in. There we go. Um, I'll use that for another stack of food. Oh, Ender Pearls. Right. Um, let's have a stack of Ender Pearls. Furnaces and three coal. Make another eight, and then I could put another. Yeah, hang on. No. Quarter of a stack of bottles of enchanting. That works. Three furnaces. Three coal. And then... Four, four furnaces and... Of a stack, so it's four, four, three, forty, forty four, twenty more items. Right? No, I miscounted in there somewhere. Let's put in eight coal and another furnace enough to uh, to smelt a stack of items and it's too cold for furnace and, and I could put another any more things in there 
two, another two things. What two things would I put in there? Maps can't stack when they're filled. Oh, I can rename it too. Hang on. Kill it, please. Presto. Probably another couple of... A bed! A bed! I would put a bed in there. Uh, and a... No, boats can't stack. Oh, and beds don't... Beds stack up to 16, don't they? Oh, I need to get the leather armor still. I've already paid it for a bunch. Okay. Uh, leather cap. Leather tunics. Leather pants. And leather boots. These ones have already been undyed, so I'll just uh, stick emeralds back in there, I guess. Can't suck up any of those, but I can suck up that. Um, and I need to undye these. Let's see, yeah, I have one. For that purpose. And, yep. It's convenient this way. Nope, nope. It occurs to me that I could also do horse armor, and then I could have a horse dress up. But I don't know what I would have a horse dress up as. What would you have a horse dress up as? A love bug? I don't know. Oh, I need those uh, emeralds, actually. Mm. Beds stack to 16, I think. Think. Banners do too. Might have to put that in there instead of. If I put a bed and. I don't know. I don't know. The possibilities are limitless. Now the question is what would benefit me the most? With my playstyle. Out and about, a bed would come in handy um, time and again if I don't have one that's close to me. All right, cobwebs. I had a bed in here somewhere, yeah. Yeah, it won't fit. Bundle full. Okay, so what do I do about that, then? Another shield wouldn't fit. Potions don't stack yet. Torches could go in there. Or torches could go in with the uh, wood. That would make more sense, maybe. A little bit of scaffolding, perhaps? No, too much. Um... Okay, so if I... If I have that... Am I not stack at all? Am I... Am I being dumb? I might be being dumb. My like beds can't stack. I think, I think I'm stupid. Yep, 
Banners can stack that. I could stick banners in there as a marker for a map. Oh, that's... Oh, yeah. That's the problem with the bundle. You can't swap them out just by left-clicking like you can with other stuff. Mm. Not the worst thing in the world, but still mildly annoying. Okay, so I think six more things can go in? No, just two. Nope, right click. Okay, so what two utility blocks would I put in there? A grindstone. Not a grindstone, a, a, a stone cutter. Do I have a spare stone cutter just lying around? I, no. I don't know if I'd call that spare. Glass furnace, maybe. For convenience. If I had four slots open, I could put a banner in. Oh, you know what, though? Do compasses stack to 16? No! That's perfect. That still works, right? The... The, the compass still works. Does the clock. It does. It's moving. You can see it. That's so good. You could just have a clock in your inventory and a compass, and they won't occupy an entire slot for no reason. No way! That is so good. Oh my gosh. This is making me so happy. I'm, I'm, I'm giddy. Oh, man. Such a good addition. Both for early game and for mid game and for late game. Just because of that. Okay. Okay. Calm down. Um, I'm probably going to be crafting uh, most of the outfits around here. So I'll take the smithing table out. I'll take a barrel out. We'll use this as my workstation. Leather caps, leather tunics, leather pants, and leather boots. Gotta go grab that other one. That's why I don't generally put the lanterns up everywhere. Okay. <laughs> the red line does annoy me slightly. I wish it was green would actually fit in with the other ones, but yeah, it's fine. Small nitpick. So good. And I like that you can see it opening and the, the whatever it is inside. That's cute. Okay. Now, let me think. Right, next step is to get the die. You should really grab a bunch. No, but there's going to be more gray die here than in there because I didn't leave a ton in there. Okay, hang on. 
So, for... For the Wither Skeleton Armor. Each is gray, gray, black, which means I'm going to need six gray and three black. I think this should do. There we go. Oh, and I, I don't need a helmet for that one. Why did I grab that? It was simply unnecessary. Okay, so. Two gray die. Because you can see, if you look, that the shade... Changes. Um, maybe not when I do it there. Maybe if I do it in here. Output changes slightly. I found that this was perfect. Okay. Okay. And I went with. The chest is rib iron. I'm gonna need three iron for it. And a bunch of diamonds. Okay. Nothing quite so satisfying. That is going to give me a heart attack one of these times, because I'm going to step on it without thinking about it. Vex and a Razor. Rib. Three. Vex and a Razor. I think, uh, hang on. Yeah, I had a bunch of those. But, uh, Vex and a Rib need replacements. See what that needs. Vex. I could just make it. It's cobblestone. Okay, cool. And rib. I'm guessing that's netherite. Yeah, or netherrack. Sorry, netherrack. Um, it looks like it'd be nether brick, but netherrack is a lot easier. Um, there we go. Oh, it's shapes. Didn't realize it was shapes. Okay. Or that is to say, it was a shaped crafting recipe that you ha you have to put in it in in a specific pattern. Okay. So. Chest was rib iron. And I could do something cooler if I had netherite to spare, which I don't. Chest is rib iron. Ants is vex iron. And boots is razor iron. Let's have a look at it on me. And I would put a stone sword with it, but um, actually, I don't see why I couldn't put necessary 
additional ingredients in a barrel or something next to it. Alright. Let's have a look at me with it on. Yo, how go things? What do you think of this? Okay, hang on. Options. Game customization. Cape off. Done, done. Back to game. There we go. What do you think of this? Do I look like a wither skeleton or what? You're right, planet. It's missing something. I know you didn't actually say anything, but... My first thought was wither skeleton, so yeah, so far so good. Lol. Nice, nice. Okay, so we, we're using armor trims to uh, achieve the desired effect. Um, but I have something else that's cool in my inventory that you might notice. Uh, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna, gonna hold on this screen for a second and see if you notice it. The big sack, yes! Bing, bing, bing. Bundles of Bravery released. Um, Bedrock gets hardcore mode, and I'm probably going to do some sort of hardcore something soon to celebrate it, but not this world. Um, this world can't be turned into hardcore. Uh, however, we get bundles, and I just made this one for my utilities. Prior to now, I'd be carrying around a crafting table and uh, an end chest and a stack of the um, uh, a stack of the XP bottles, right? But now I've condensed the ender chest and the crafting table into one place, and I've only got one fourth of the XP bottles, but I still have them in case of an emergency, as well as eight ender pearls. But I've also got room for four uh, for four furnaces and the fuel to smelt them, and a clock and a compass which is something that I wouldn't have dreamed of carrying around with me just because it takes up two whole inventory slots all the time. But now I can just have them on hand and they still work. If I if I spin around, you can see that the compass is pointing a different direction now. Look at that. It's so useful. Things like the spyglass and the tools take up a whole slot so they, they, would, they would take up a whole bundle, but the compass and the clock don't. It's crazy good. This is the future. My thoughts precisely, Planet. Um, however, this costume here, it is missing a little je ne sais quoi. A little something something. Uh, one last final touch. And for this, I'm opening up my secret room. I d don't tell anyone that you saw this. Eh. Come on. Is it this one? Is this one. And we're retrieving this. So far, I've only managed to get two Wither Skeleton Skulls, because I haven't yet set up my farm for them. Well, also those open up, but... Yeah, slight oversight on my part. I've only managed to get two Wither Skeleton Skulls. Uh, I used one on a banner, because I thought the banner was a cool idea. Um... Eventually, I'm going to set up a farm for them, and it will be easy as pie to get more, but right now this is the last remaining one that I have, and I think it would be really cool if I used it in the costume. So there we go. Costume complete. Ta-da! So we're going to keep playing dress up here. Uh, I'm going to put on the next soundtrack. Boop. This boy is ready to trick and treat. That is almost correct. That is almost correct. Um, because we have to go uh, bring this to the armory. I, uh, I used the other skull on this banner because I thought it looked cool. I cooked this up. I wanted to make it as a Halloween decoration. I, re I really should have put it in a more prominent spot. 
I, I think it turned out great. Jump scare. Yeah. Also say hello to Spinach, the spider. Spinach, the strength spider. They um, were leaving me alone the whole time I made the armory, and then I lured them into the armory, and then I realized, oh, that's right. Spinach is just going to climb out over the gate. So I made a whole little alcove for them. Um... <laughs> Spot for that. Okay, so if I if I put the stuff on this and the stone sword in this, there we go. That's the prop. Nope, not put it on. I grab these. Thank you. Bam. Looks almost perfect. I wish we could put the stone sword in its hand, but eh, what can you do? Until they add a way to uh, put the hands on in Java, that's uh, off limits, I guess. So we're going to be making three more uh, costumes, and then I'll be able to decide what it is that I want to go as uh, on any given Halloween. Um... Did you get to see the armory? Uh, through here, there's going to be a um, a smithing shop, I guess. A, a, a blacksmith with a big furnace and stuff. And maybe other storefronts here for some of the villagers. I'm not sure yet. It's mostly going to be decorative, but um, I figured it, it would be neat. And then a back passage into the armory that way. And then this is a, essentially going to be a shortcut through to the um, the villager area. Legit, I like it. Thank you, thank you. But yeah, we're gonna make three more. Uh, I have one more in mind. And then I'm going to take two suggestions from the audience, which right now uh, would appear to be just you, Planet, but I'm open to suggestions from anyone. Of course, this is going to mean going back to the creative world for more planning. Um, so we should probably think about what we want to do while we're here in order to prep for that. It's mostly just going to involve a lot of uh, tinkering around in creative because I don't have the diamonds to spare a ton of those uh, armor trims. However, that's what I made uh, my little setup for. Then the title, player, get a test. You can see that I uh, finished uh, the design here. And the next planned one is supposed to be a uh, Hero of the Wild outfit for um, Link from Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. I am kind of struggling to decide what I want the tunic to be. Because here's, uh, here's Vex and here's Snout. And I think they both look good as tunics. This one kind of look. It, it's got the it's got the neck area right, but not that one. Did I put down? Oh, I did that in iron, and that one in quartz. See that 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 one looks good in quartz, but then there's iron, which is a little darker, and then there's this, which I think I would probably do in quartz. It's it's um. Uh, it's, it's snout. Uh, but it, it looks more like the um, assorted sigils that are all over. I 
bet I could pull up a picture. I don't know. Maybe, maybe Nintendo would uh, strike the stream for that. I don't know. Hero of the uh, Wild Tunic. No, no, that's... No, um, the Champion's Tunic. That's the one that I'm thinking of. It's been a bit since I've played Breath of the Wild. Um... That one. What if I pull up this one? This one? This one. That's a good image. Open an image in new tab. I wonder if I can get this to up. I don't know anything about trims, so I don't really think I can help with designs. Uh, that's fine. I have a plan for that. Because you see, I have this setup over here, which showcases all of the trims that I... Oops. All of the armor trims that I have available to me right now. First time chatter, Alina says hi. Hello, Alina. And you followed. Hey, let me uh, let me update the follower plate for you. A position of prestige. Thank you for showing up to the trick stream. Uh, I feel obligated to mention that uh, there's going to be another Halloween event stream later in the week. Oh. I see. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, that'd be a no, actually. Uh, we don't welcome bots here. Sorry. Bye. Okay. And I think I almost just put Alina on the follower plate. This, this, this. Anyhow, um, we have this uh, setup here with all of the various armor trims that I have available to me, including the rarest one in the game, Silence. Also capitalized. And Ward. There we go. So, uh, you don't really have to help with suggesting one. You can have a look at them at the same time I do, and um, we'll figure it out from that. Uh, however, I would love your suggestions for costumes to try to make. Like, well... What's a game that you enjoy? What's a what, what's a main character with a signature look? What would uh, what would look cool if I were to make it into a costume in game? Now that's what I'm asking for. Um, as it stands, though, I've I think I'm I think I'm gonna go with Snout. So let's see. That's can I pull up a picture? Under streaming two. Um. Night one. Try hi fi rush because, yeah. Oh, uh, you do love your hi fi rush. I bet I could do that. Mm -hmm. 
Hmm, that's odd. Also, getting late and got work tomorrow, so I'm going to hop off. Looking forward to seeing what you come up with in your designs, though. Catch you later, my man. It was lovely to have you here, Planet. Uh, thanks for, for popping in. Uh, good luck with your work tomorrow, and uh, good night. Um, otherwise, find window of same executable. Okay. Can I pull that up now? Maybe? Ah, there we go. There we go. Okay, that works. Um, okay. So, I have found a photo of what I'm going for. This is the... This is the... Goal. Um, and that's what I'm looking at right now. I'm going to put the instructions as I have them so far in my stream to do. So, tunic, four blue, one cyan, one lie blue. And then the second step is three light blue, one cyan. Three light blue, one cyan. There we go. And then uh, it's quartz uh, snout. Quartz snout. Okay. And then save that. Rust, okay, so then the matter would just be uh, figuring out the uh, the pants and the shoes and the hat. I feel like I have, aside from that, uh, successfully managed to identify what I want the uh, chest plate to look like. Just talking about the uh, pros and cons out loud, I think I know what I want. So I don't need these anymore. Just, there we go. The pants are a bit plainer. Let me pull that up again. Uh, the first look is from uh, Breath of the Wild. The second is from Tears of the Kingdom. The pants are a bit plainer, but the boots around the bottom have got to look tall. So how would I do that? Oh, hang on. Uh-oh. That's not good. My music cuts out when I go to streaming, too, because I didn't put it on there. Okay, hang on. Uh, give me just one moment. I'm going to adjust that accordingly. Okay. And... No, I'm going to catch that one. There we go. Now the music should persist when I swap between them. Okay. Is there... a pants trim that makes it look like the boots are taller? I'm looking at Ward, for example, and I'm thinking... What if I had... What if there was one that was no trim on the top, and then around the bottom there was trim? Because then I could put something there and make it look interesting. But I'm not really seeing anything like that. You know, this one here, Coast, has just got that, uh, that little ring around the knees. Hmm. Copy that image and grab the hex code on that. I just need hex code on that color. CBB670. Okay. CBB670. 
And then I can plug that into my dye leather armor. CBB670. And that's the correct color. Excellent. Version 1.12 and above. Check for closest match by perceived distance. Get recipe. What? That's very peculiar. Step one, one white, one black. Step two, two orange, one light blue, one lime, one pink, one green. Is that really going to come out with the correct color? Wow. They are pretty plain. I might just have the color and no trim on that one. But let's have a look at that. Uh, pants. Uh, double check what that said. One white, one black. Two orange. I never... Oh, I see, I see. It's the bundle. Two orange. Oh, not bad. One light blue, one lime, one pink, one green. Wow. One light blue. One lime. Not bad. One pink. One green. All right, let's see if this works. Huh. Yeah. It kind of did. That basically looks just like it. Is there a trim material that I could use? Copper, maybe, to cover up the knee pads. Uh, maybe gold. Let's have a look at copper and gold, see if they could be used to cover up the knee pads, make it look more smooth. Is there anything that uh, does that? This made me wonder, was that snout? Hmm. 